Hey there, I wanted to share with you five different meditations that you could try doing if you feel stressed at work. Uh, so I'm going to explain the five different meditations and give you some brief instructions on how to do it. But I also have guided meditations on my website so you can listen to them if one of them feels really good for you. Most of these techniques, with the exception of one of them, um, are all anchoring out techniques. So instead of mm, having a technique that looks at the stress that you're experiencing and you know working with it to try and break it apart, these techniques are different in that they ask you to turn away. So what they give you is a temporary relief. And it's not to say like, um, oh, let's pretend you're not stressed out, but instead of focusing on the stress or focusing on, I feel really stressed out, you're going to focus on other things that give you temporary relief, that can calm you a little bit, um, so that you can return to the task at hand. Yeah, when we're stressed at work, uh, we feel stressed, but we still have to work, right? The expectation is we're still gonna get to it. Um, and these are some techniques that can give you temporary relief. Um, and you can do them at your desk. So I'll do all of these sitting down. Okay, the first one. So the first one is see out. In the see out technique, what you do is you pay attention to what you can see in the room in which you're in. So for example, um, if I was gonna, or the environment you're in. So I'm sitting outside. So if I was gonna do see out, I'm gonna sit. And I'm gonna let my eyes be drawn to what I can see. And when something catches my attention, right now it's like the end of this drying, edge of this drying rack, uh, I'm gonna say C. And I'm gonna let that go, look around, some flowers caught my attention, so I'm gonna say C. So you can do that for 30 seconds, you can do it for a minute, and it can, like, it's kind of astounding how, um, yeah, how that can help you to just like come down a level and just look at the objects in the room. Okay, second one, um, feel your feet. <laughs> so often when we're like stressed, we're like, we're feeling the stress, we're thinking about all the things we have to do. Um, you can just try and feed it, feel your feet. And that's like not, you know, touch them with your hands, but you can put your feet flat. Um, you know, notice, see if you can press each of your toe down into the ground, put your heel into the ground. And then notice if you can, there's any like energy or twitching, anything happening in your feet. And just focus on it as this truck goes by. <laughs> cool, and it just, it, what it did is it took your attention from whatever your problem, whatever your stress was, and you just went like, oh yeah, my feet are the most interesting thing in the world. Okay, uh, three, hear out. This is great for my noisy backyard. Um, so you're gonna limit your, it's similar to see out, except instead of focusing on, audit, um, on visual experiences, we're gonna focus on auditory. So you can take a moment and just listen to whatever you can hear in your environment. And when a sound comes up, you're not judging the sound. You're simply noticing the sound is there and if you want to you can say out loud or in your head you can say here so you're just tracking auditory experiences and it's a great it's a great one I have a the auditor the auditory um, or the audio recording of this goes in a little bit deeper but even if your room is quiet it's funny how you can like pick up on really subtle sounds like the air conditioning or white noise um, yeah but it gives you temporary relief okay uh, fourth one auto move but auto move sitting so I have another I have another video on using auto move as um, to tune into spontaneity to become a better storyteller this is just tuning into like that spontaneousness in our body and it it's helpful sometimes when you're um, when you're stressed out and overthinking, and you start to think like I don't have any ideas, or I can't think of anything new, or I'm not creative, this is a nice technique for tuning into that. So, 
and just sit and you're gonna let your body move however it wants to now if you're doing this like in your office uh, maybe you'll just limit it to your how your hands or your head might move but just resting and any movement that your body wants to make let it and your object of focus isn't actually on the movement it's on noticing this like this kind of this the source of that movement the spontaneity the energy the buzz behind like you know the way that you're expressing so you're tuning into the spontaneity um, which can you do a little bit of guesswork to find it but just notice if your body wants to move and let it move how it wants to and it might be really subtle like I'm just like just one of my fingers is wanting to <laughs> move in its way and it's just like you just get in touch of like with your core creativeness your core spontaneity and it can really help with relief yeah okay and then the very last one so this one is a little bit different because you may actually use the stress as your object of focus if it comes up and so what you do is as thoughts are coming in um, so you might be hearing things in your head related to the stress. You might be seeing images in your head about things that just happened in the previous meeting um, or, you know, the stress that you're feeling right now or, you know, a project that you're about to do. So it's either going to be something from the past, something from the present and something from the future. And your job is to label it as such. So pay attention to what thoughts are coming up in your mind and if you have a thought notice if that thought is about the past the present or the future and just label it and sometimes when we do an exercise like this the mind just goes blank it's like i don't i don't want you to categorize me and that's fine too so if that happens you're actually you're in the present you're just present and you can enjoy the restfulness because that's going to give you relief and sometimes labeling thoughts and becoming aware of oh this is a past this is a present this is a future breaks it up in a way that it has less of a hold on you and you don't add to the story you just label it what it is past present future so those are five short mindfulness techniques meditations that you can do at work you can do them like 30 seconds, you can do them for two minutes, you can do them, you know, for an hour if you want. But at work, when you need a quick relief, try one of those. And maybe this week you just try one a day and find which one works for you and whichever one is like, accessible and gives you relief is the one to use, right? Um, so thanks for watching. I hope that that helps to relieve some stress in your workday and I'd love to know if this helped you, if, if any of these techniques helped you um, relieve stress at work. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.